Hey, so this is just an update, kind of talking about the things that are making me happy right now. Um, I just biked to the hardware store, and I got myself all these little nails, and I'm going to be using them to repair my rabbit hutch, and I'm going to be taking some upcycled pallets that I had found in an industrial part of town, and I'm going to be sawing them and breaking them apart, and it's going to be really strenuous and noisy, but... I'm going to get it done, and I just need to patch up some of the back holes and the part where a dog busted into the rabbit pen during the housewarming party that we had a while back. So, yes, I need to <laughs> I need to get that going so that I can take the rabbit back outside because I think she'll hopefully be more happy and comfortable out there, and I know that my landlord would be much more comfortable. <laughs> so I'm going to work on that. And I also have all these seeds just, you know, growing by the week so many envelopes full of seeds and it really it's just one of the most satisfying feelings that I can imagine so I've got marigold red poppy columbine snapdragon bachelor button I don't know what's in here I didn't label it let's see ah hollyhock ah and there are just Thousands of them! So many, so many seeds. I should write what it is before I forget. Okay, and then these yellow small guys. They're really, maybe you guys can help. They're like these little yellow flowers. They're like a ground cover bush, and they have like a deep green foliage, and then the seeds almost display like um, Cosmo wood, but they're smaller. So does that make sense? Like when they're ready, they all just stick out. And um, I can show you what the seeds look like, but I doubt the camera will be able to pick it up. Um, they look like that. Can you see that? This tiny little, and they splay out from like a central. So does that make sense? Does anybody know what those are? Um, they grow in zone 9 for sure, because that's where I am. Purple lupin, giant purple poppy, wild sweet pea, just hundreds of little seeds, you know? more poppy. Beautiful. And um, I've got some red canna. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but these like nice tropical ones and just morning glory. Beautiful, amazing seeds. I love them. So that's making me happy. Last night after I got into that scuffle, I made some earrings to like kind of occupy my time. So I've got these little earrings that I won't wear myself, but will probably give to a friend. And I wanted to tell you guys, I came up with a good idea. Um, my new thing is going to be rewarding people who give a nice positive energy and like supportive feedback. So anytime that I'm on homesteading and I see a comment that just makes me really happy to my core, like maybe I post a picture, like I said, you guys have probably seen the post, um, of like vegan chili relleno or enchilada or something and someone goes that's gross like why would you want to yeah ugh. or like the coconut vegan eggs like anytime that I see someone staunchly like unabashedly defending something that I post and saying like why don't you try it or this is a nice thing you know those things make me really happy when I don't have to be the only one saying like I don't know just keep an open mind like when other people come in and are also like that that makes me so happy it means so much to me so if I see that or if I see somebody asking a question of like my tomatoes are splitting open or you know I'm going through the drought like does anybody have any tips and someone comes in and says like I can help you you know this means this you need more nitrogen da 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 um those kinds of things should be rewarded so I'm going to start writing down people's names and at some point during the month I will put all of those comments into a hat or a jar or whatever and I will pull them and maybe three to five people will get seeds sent to them because it's a really low cost to me but hopefully it'll just it's just a way to show that I appreciate you guys for you know sticking up for things that are maybe new to some people but you know are defendable and maybe commendable like it's it's wonderful to see you guys being so positive and great. So you deserve some feedback and some some appreciation. And I wish I could send seeds to everybody. I really do. I probably have enough seeds to send to all 7,000 of you, but I do not have 7,000 stamps worth of cha-ching-ching. -ching. So I will just suffice to say that I 
appreciate you guys, and some of you will be getting some tangible appreciation. You can either grow them yourself, give them to friends, give them to your mom. You can throw them into an abandoned lot or like the median of a street and just watch them grow. Gorilla Garden. You could make clay clay balls and toss them somewhere. I should do a video on that, shouldn't I? Yeah, seed bombs. Okay, I will do a video. And um, for now, I'm just happy. I'm going to be doing some drawing and I'll be listening to Joanna Newsom because I'm in the mood for it. And I don't know, today's a good day. I just, I'm really grateful for the people who step in when people are either being mean or just, you know, harshly critical and maybe they don't even realize that they're coming off that way. But I need to learn to be less sensitive. But at the same time, I do want to thank everyone who, you know, comes in and says like things that are really really nice and um it's just it's nice to be defended like some people get into attack mode the internet is so anonymous that you can just go and say whatever you want and there's really no consequence but um sometimes it's hard to see people's stuff and it means a lot that some people go and they very classily and articulately like come to my aid and maybe to the defense of veganism in general and stuff like that um it means a lot so thank you guys and Oh God. <laughs> um, as far as the farm fund goes, it's going strong. I've been saving up. Um, the other day I was online and I saw a sale on jeans and, you know, all these like beautiful yellow colored jeans were on sale for like, I don't know, $15. And I put them all in my basket. And then instead of going through with the purchase, I just X'd out of the window and I felt really good about it. So I don't need more clothes and I would rather have that money sitting around for the farm fund. So I am saving and it's not, like I said, it's not glamorous and it's not the most fun, but it's very worth it and it's important to me and I don't want to be a hypocrite and ask for anything from anyone. Meanwhile, I'm splurging all day long on stuff. No. So music, maybe some snacks, and um, I'm hoping to make sushi later. So good. You just take avocado, um, if I'm feeling naughty, I will fry up some sweet potato and eggplant, and that will be like a little tempura treat in the middle of it. And then besides that, you can use sprouts, carrot, mushroom. Of course, use your rice and your stew, which is the vinegar mix, and um, seaweed. If you guys have any suggestions of things to put in it, I'm always open to your ideas. Broccoli would be good. All kinds of little treats, and it's going to be amazing. It's Something like a dollar a roll when you get down to it, if you make a large batch, it's so crazy and expensive. I love making sushi. I've only done it once, but hopefully I get to do it tomorrow again. And um, yeah, so thank you for helping my good mood. It's back and I'm happy and you guys are great. And this video is, I thought it was going to be a minute. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, one more thing. You guys might have noticed my henna in the video that I did last night. I was babysitting this week and I got to see my beautiful kids and I love them because they're goofy and clever and silly and just compassionate, amazing, thoughtful children and I was so happy to hang out with them and we went on a raw vegan chocolate tasting. One of the kids had a living social deal and that was amazing. We got to eat delicious pure, like from Africa, 100% cocoa chocolate. It was so good. And we also did henna and no, I didn't get a tattoo. Um... Don't think I'll ever get a tattoo. I think I would change my mind and resent myself when I was 60 for my body that had aged and I didn't really like the design anymore. It's not for me. If they make a five-year tattoo, I would like that, but I still would never spend the money. Okay, so much love to you. Today is the weekend. I hope that you have the best weekend, whether you want a nice recuperative, relaxing peaceful, serene weekend. I hope that that's what you get. And if you want a nice, busy, exciting, full of flashy things weekend, I hope that that's what you get. Okay. But above all, I hope that you're happy and selfie, selfie, healthy and safe. Yes, yes, yes.